This is Ash News TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak. And I'm Ed Highland. All year long, Ash works on your behalf to help hematologists conquer blood diseases worldwide. To aid in these efforts, the Society has developed the Ash Research Collaborative, which is now accepting data from academic institutions. Um, we uh, aim to become one of the largest data resources within each of these diseases um, in the world, um, and we are excited about accepting different kinds of data, that we've received significant close clinical trial data submissions from two industry partners. Um, we've recently received two multiple myeloma closed clinical trial data sets from Amgen, and we have received a large sickle cell disease registry from Novartis. And so this is just evidence that we have a lot of engagement. Um, we're very proud of these two partners, but we know that many more will be Coming. In his State of the Society address, ASH President Roy Silverstein discussed the growth of ASH's global brand through the introduction of programs that help researchers and clinicians in their offices, labs, classrooms, and communities. One such researcher is Amit Nathwani, who delivered this year's Ham Wasserman Lecture. His talk covered recent breakthroughs in hemophilia gene therapy and how these advances are changing the lives of patients with inherited bleeding disorders. We were the first to show that you can use gene therapy uh, to mediate stable expression of factor IX in patients with hemophilia. This leads to a long-term, potentially curative therapy for these patients who, as a result of the gene therapy, um, have complete amelioration of their bleeding phenotype and are able to go back to a normal life.